Hello, Yarnabees. It is uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days, well, three-ish days after my surgery. It is the 9th of December. I, I, I'm using my phone right now, so I'm trying to figure out where to look. I think it's here. <laughs> so anyway, um, having a bit of a time. I'm not going to lie. I woke up this morning and um, it felt like somebody took a machete right across my foot. It, the incision was, ooh, so painful. It was insane. So I had to break down and take a pill. And I broke down last night and took a pill too. <clears throat> um. Yesterday, I had done some video footage, and I guess after I took my pill, I was like, okay, well, now I'm going to edit the whole thing, and I ended up deleting all the footage. Yay, me! So, I have no footage for you. Sorry. <laughs> I get it. Footage. Footage. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Um, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> so... Uh, so I found this really funny meme, as you've probably already seen, on my phone. It was perfect of me being afoot. Um, I, I just thought it was kind of hilarious how that, you know, how you get, you do your Snapchat and you get all these different filters that you can do. Well, apparently on Messenger, they had all these things as well. And one was a foot. And I was like, perfect. So... So I sent that out to everybody. <laughs> I was having a great time with that. So, so it was kind of comical. Anyway. Um, so scenes that I, I, I did some video footage of me on my, my Ninaimo Tominator and deleted. So it's like, oh, well. Don't judge me, please. I'm, I'm looking like a hot mess. But I promise you, I did have a shower last night or yesterday. George helped me with that. So I'm not so stinky. <laughs> um, what else? <clears throat> uh, oh, I was in Natalie's closet. Well, not Natalie's closet per se. You know, the, you know what I mean. <laughs> Natalie, I was in your closet. <laughs> um I was in Natalie's live yesterday. Is that yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Oh my God. My days are just meshing all together. Um, thanks to the drugs. <laughs> uh, we had a great live. It was just like one of Sandy's from Left is Right's lives. And <clears throat> and we, we were talking some pretty interesting stuff and then we got into retro stuff you know like um music that we liked from back then clothes that we liked from back then uh, um she asked what kind of a game console you had and stuff like that it was it was actually quite quite funny so um yeah and then we started talking about some other stuff but i i'm the one that started that conversation <laughs> we just won't get into that um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, this morning, uh, when I was having my foot issue, the cutest thing happened. I would, I have my legs, oh, excuse me, I had all these pillows under my leg and, uh, so I'm laying on my back, my foot's up to the sky. Oh, look, I got a bruise. I wonder where that happened. <laughs> um, and uh, George came in with my pills and some yogurt because I have to eat something with it. Otherwise, I get really sick. And I was like, how am I going to sit up to do this? <laughs> so the cat, who is right there, she came over, went underneath my head and... She wanted me to use her as a pillow. Okay. <laughs> so I was sitting there with my head on her. 
until I finished eating and took my pill. And then she moved. And I was like, wow, that was really cool. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of cute. And then Bailey, she's been sitting here trying to play with me the whole time. See, whoops, hang on. Oh, see, hello. Hey, Bailey, say hi to the people. Say hello. <laughs> oh. Dropping you, sorry. <laughs> trying to do this on my phone is not easy. Um, so Bailey has not left my side at all and uh, Bella has pretty much been by my side well she usually sits right down here um, she's been by my side the whole time too and uh, yesterday I didn't take a painkiller I've been getting so many messages from everybody saying make sure you keep on top of your pain and take your painkillers and um, yesterday I was feeling pretty good and I was like, I don't think I need one. I, you know, I think maybe I'll just pass on that for a little while. Yeah. And then last night it was like, wham, <laughs> it's like all of a sudden I was getting shooting pains right down my toe, my big toe, right down my foot. And when those hit, it was like a freaking lightning bolt just going down. And I was like, okay, I can handle this. I can handle this. And then I was like, no, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. <laughs> and then so I had to take a pill. And within half an hour, the pains subsided quite a bit. So that was good. I forget where I was telling you that. Oh, right. Um, so before that, like I didn't want to take a pill because I wanted to crochet. And I can't crochet very well when I'm on these pills. Hence, like the um, cowl that I'm making right now, my sides are not coming out quite so straight. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, well, we'll just put a border on it and call it a day. <laughs> so anyways, but I did make the Bag o Day, the new Bag o Day um, hat. But what I did was... Um, I, when it was time to do the brim, I did a front stitch double crochet. So you did in, in, when you've got your loop, your, or your stitch, you go into the front loop or the, yeah, front loop, and then it, it'll flip the, um, you guys know what I mean, right? But for the newbies out there, it'll flip your brim. So <clears throat> then your brim ends up being like that. So um, let's see if I can put it on. My phone's acting all weird. Can I just say that I am loving this Huga yarn? Like, holy cow. It's so, it's like... A cross between um, latte cake and alpaca. I love it. Wow, this is really not a straight line. <laughs> now that I'm looking at this, um, it's and it's so comfortable. It's so comfy. So um, I went to Yarnspirations and I bought a whole bunch more. Not a whole bunch. I've got about nine balls coming, I think. So, you know, so George's worst fears are probably coming to fruition, which is, you know, when I'm laid up and I have nothing to do and I'm bored and I'm drugged up, I'm going to be shopping. It might be a little bit of a possibility. <laughs> but you know what? Oh, my God. Um, this this yarn is a great buy because it's so nice you get the benefits of the alpaca look to it without the itchy so um i'm hoping they don't get rid of this one because that will really really bum me out because it is so nice anyway 
So I made that and now I'm trying to make the cowl to go with it. So it's got the little bumpies on it. But yeah, this, this whole edge is just going like the wrong way. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, it's, oh, whoops. God, I'm really bad at this. So if you can see, well, I guess you can't really tell, but anyway, it's, it's not straight. <laughs> not at all. So that's okay. I can, I can fudge it. Oh, I can fudge it by putting a, a border on it or something. So anyway, um, wow, I look like a train wreck. I found this new coffee, this seasonal coffee, and it's, it was like, um, four different types of coffee in one. And one was candy cane and gingerbread and one was a cinnamon something something. Um, and I, f I found out by accident that putting my hazelnut creamer with any of it, it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. So today I'm drinking the gingerbread one. <clears throat> my throat is still really sore. Um... I'm kind of living on Michelina pasta, um, like Alfredo's and stuff like that to kind of slide down and ice cream and pudding and um, fruit uh, snack. What do you call them? Those things you put in kids lunches like um, fruit salad -y kind of whatever. <clears throat> um and popsicles so <clears throat> i'm hoping at some point i'm going to be able to actually eat a decent meal i tried george made this wonderful um creation yesterday he's getting like really he's on the ball he we had some leftover uh steak from the night before that he put in the crock pot and I couldn't eat it because my throat couldn't handle it. <clears throat> but, um, yesterday he put, uh, he bought, he got some pasta. Bailey, <laughs> she's scratching. Um, so he had these pasta things that we get from Costco, boiled some of those up, got some spaghetti sauce, put that in and put the meat in it. Perfect man's meal. <clears throat> so he's got enough for a couple of days worth. So I don't have to worry about him. I found out that we had some lamb, lamb shanks in the freezer. And so I'm going to get him to take those out for tomorrow. Put those in the crock pot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. And put those in the crock pot. <clears throat> and then have maybe by then. If those are cooking all day, hopefully they'll be good enough for me to, um, you know, maybe pull it all apart and, uh, and be able to swallow it. <clears throat> but as you can tell, <clears throat> I'm still really, my throat's still really messed up. Um, I read everybody's comments that have been coming in. Thank you so much for all the comments. You guys are giving me some really good ideas too. Um, and yes, you're right. Uh, some of you were saying you sound like you were in a teaching uh, hospital. I think I was. Um, which is fine. I mean, they got to learn, right? I just wish that I wasn't the brunt of, of the, of what they had to learn. <clears throat> um, cause that, that could kill somebody, you know, and, Luckily, they didn't give me the codeine. It was just the Dilaudid, which was bad enough. Dilaudid makes me projectile vomit. Like, it, it's really bad for me that way. But codeine, oh, my God. Codeine is, like, bad for me. Um, <clears throat> not good at all. Uh, a lot of you were saying, you know, you should call your doctor and get them to change your prescription to something that you can handle or whatever. Unfortunately, um, there's 
a lot I can't take. Most of the painkillers themselves I can't take. Demerol, codeine, percodan, morphine, gentamicin. No, gentamicin is not a painkiller, but um, <clears throat> gabapentin. Um, like all the good stuff I can't take. So this, this oxycodone, which is kind of freaks me out because it makes me think there's codeine in it, but there isn't. Um, is about the only thing that I can, I can take right now. And it's fine. You know, like it, it does take the edge off, um, and it makes me sleep. So when the pain gets to the point where I can't handle it, I just take one of those, knocks me out and I just sleep through the pain. So I can handle that. Um, what else? I think I have some parcels coming today. Uh, so I may end up having a yarn haul to show you later. Um, George is going to go to the post office for me and check that and see if I've got anything in there. Dina, uh, you're, I'm so upset. I sent you your package and it got re it's getting returned. So I'm waiting for that to show up. Hopefully it shows up today. If it does, I'm going to get George to put the new address on it and ship it right back out. I really hope that you get it before Christmas. Um, what else? Can't think of anything else at the moment. I'm right now I'm, I'm, um, I'm watching Charmed Grammy, Grammy's Crochet. I'm just got her head down right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm doing that and trying to finish off this cowl, but I'm not going to have enough to finish it, not enough yarn to finish it off. So I have to wait until my, my order comes from your inspirations. I can't remember how long it takes for them to send their stuff. I think they were fairly quick. So anyway, this might be a whip that is on hold for a little while anyway. Um, Oh, and I am making, uh, I'm making a rec another rectangle cowl. And it's the, what stitch is that? Oh, I just saw the part that I buggered up on. Oh, and I must have been on medication when I did this. There's a few spaces. It's like a fan stitch anyway. I don't know if I can do this. I'm holding, trying to hold the camera at the same time, and or the phone at the same time, and it's not working. And you can't really tell. But anyway, I'm making that from the Huga as well. Uh, and of course, this, this color, this lavender color. Mm, hello. Focus, focus, there we go. This Huga color, I think this is lavender. They um, ran out. So it's like, of course. Um. Oh, my furls hooks. You guys were asking about my furls hooks. A dream. Oh my God. They just glide through the yarn like it's nothing it's unbelievable it doesn't snag it doesn't catch on anything um and the funny thing is my odyssey hooks i love my odyssey hooks these are even better and i don't know if it's because my odyssey hooks are metal and these are what are these ceramic or something whatever um but these just glide and the bigger hook that you use, the easier it is for the glide. It's just, it's unreal. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm really, I haven't tried all the other ones yet, but I, this is the K hook and I'm just absolutely in love with them. So anyways, okay. It's been 11 minutes now, so I guess I've rambled on enough. <laughs> I just wanted to come on and, and give you guys an update. 
and uh yeah i i'm sorry that i haven't been able to get on everybody's lives i keep missing the lives but i am watching the replays so thank you so much for all of your sweetness oh you guys are awesome really awesome <clears throat> not gonna cry <laughs> um yeah you guys you know whenever you guys say stuff to me about me um all that kind of stuff it just it really makes me feel like you guys are right here with me and uh it helps tremendously it really does um, I'm hoping that Santa's going to get me that um, webcam for Christmas. And if he does, ow, then I'm going to attempt to do a live. Should be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, me and technology don't mix. <clears throat> but <laughs> I'm sure I can figure it out at some point when I'm not on medication. <laughs> so okay guys i love you so much i really really do um you guys mean everything to me and uh <sighs> yeah i'm gonna cry so i'm gonna go now okay <laughs> i love you all bye <laughs>